everybody. Um, it's very warm and very sunny outside today. So I thought I would make a very quick casual video about uh, skin care in the sun. Very near and dear to my heart, this topic. So, uh, I will show you a couple tips for keeping yourself safe and keeping your skin nice uh, when you are out in the sun. Also, today. Like I said, it's very, very hot outside, so I'm leaving um, the door open and uh, to keep the air flow so you may hear or see my, uh, my cat running around. the distraction, but it's just so hot. Um, and I'll also have this. Um, <laughs> it is, um, it's a, a fan. With, um, with Hello Kitty mm -hmm. and um, I'll be using it to uh, whoosh, 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 to stay cool. <laughs> this fan was a present and I think it's very cute. these little plastic um, these little Hello Kitties so I'll be using it to stay cool <laughs> a little bit so um, but the reason I want to talk to you about um, skin care. Um, and I'll start off by showing you the most fun way to stay out of the sun is with a big floppy hat. And of course, if you're a man, you might want a, a different kind of hat. <laughs> this one is woven from straw and has this bow. And these little ties on it. I got this one in Phuket. And if you've ever been to Phuket, it's very, very warm. It's very hot in Phuket. It's very sunny in Phuket. And it's very beautiful in Phuket. They filmed a lot of movies in Phuket. They filmed a James Bond movie in Phuket. I'm trying to remember which one. I've seen them all many, many times. I like the I like the James Bond movies a lot. Oh. The little Tinkling bells. Those are Etienne running around. So, if you don't know, Etienne is my kitty cat. And um, he has a little bell around his neck, so you might hear it going ding, ding, ding. There he is. He's walking. 
turn around. Anyway. But yes, I got this hat in Phuket. Where they also filmed the beach. The beach with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Kind of silly, but still. Anyway. Um, hats are so good for keeping off the sun. Because this one has a really, really wide brim. So it keeps the sun off of your face and the top of your head. And the reason sun care is so important to me is because my mom has fought skin care or um, has fought skin cancer for many years. And I feel like I'm always trying to tell her to be careful in the sun. Because sometimes even after everything just not as careful as she ought to be. And a couple of years ago, my very best friend in the world also got skin cancer. And luckily, they caught it fast and treated it. But I don't want any of you to ever, ever have to deal with that. So, please, please take care of yourself this summer, and it can be fun. I'll show you my, I'll show you the hat. Um, <laughs> it can be fun to wear a hat. <laughs> and you can see this one, you can kind of like, poof it up. If you want, you can kind of bring it down <laughs> around your face and where'd you go? <sighs> so, but a hat is a really simple way to start taking care of your skin, especially since your nose and your cheeks and your chin, um, they all kind of pop out, you know? And so, those areas are very susceptible to sun. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. Now if you're like me, and you're very pale, you may have gotten teased about being too pale. Well, I did all growing up. <laughs> uh, everybody always called me Casper and Powder. <laughs> and I felt really bad about myself for a while. The funniest thing is though, when I went to Asia for the first time, I think I've said this before, and all kinds of people wanted to take my picture because of how pale I am. Um, I don't remember the word for it in any other languages except for Thai. And in Thai, the word is something like cow, which sounds a lot like cow. And if you're a sensitive woman like I am, Having strangers point to you and say, cow, 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 <laughs> can be very, very off-putting at first. Then I realized they were saying how white I am. Cow, muck, muck. <laughs> so, it was funny because I tell them, you know, well, here, everyone wants to have dark skin. And over there, people bleach their skin to make it whiter. And I'll set my hat aside. But I really do love it. And it protects me. 
And it can also protect your hair so that your hair doesn't get too, too brittle in the sun. So it can stay moist and bouncy. So, um, but I think the reason why I'll start showing you another way. It's good to always have like a, a shawl or something to throw over. So I'll show you this one. Um, anyhow, you know, in America, uh, if you're very, very rich, you're part of the leisure class. And the leisure class can go on vacation to tropical places anytime. So you see all these big celebrities with tans all the time. But in other parts of the world, um, that are more agrarian, if you're wealthy, you don't have to go out into the sun. You don't have to go outside to work, so being pale means you're actually very wealthy and privileged. So. We can see how skin color preferences often have to do with classism and elitism. So that's why I'm telling you that I bet your skin is really, really beautiful the way it is. And that's why I want you to protect it. Whether it's really, really pale like mine or whether it's dark beautiful or somewhere in between and lovely then um, it's worth protecting and just because your skin is darker than mine doesn't mean that you can't still get sunburned so I always carry a shawl and this one has elephants on it. Elefantes. <laughs> I love the elephants. <laughs> so, and you can throw it over your shoulders. <laughs> or you can make it into a wrap around your legs or a cover up for your bathing suit <laughs> or the last time I used it <laughs> I'll show you what I did <laughs> I wrapped it around my face because uh, I was at a rally race and they, they take place right in the middle of the woods so when the cars come by they kick up all this dirt on your face so every time the cars come by I just go <laughs> so that I don't breathe in the dust and the dirt so it's good to always have a wrap handy mm -hmm. and I love this one like I said because of all the elephants on it little elephants. One time I got to ride on an elephant who was so beautiful and her name was Namdok, Namdok, which means waterfall, Namdok. <laughs> Anyone who actually speaks Thai is welcome to point out how bad <laughs> all of my Thai is. So. But anyway, so Having a wrap is a very good idea to help keep the sun off, too. Mm -hmm. And... It's important to have sunglasses, of course. The most important reason, of course, is to look cool and mysterious. Sort of. 
um, and I always love sunglasses, the cases they come in, because they're so, like, I don't know, I love this kind of feeling, where it's kind of, like, slightly rubberized, but it's just very matte. Now, sunglasses are important in the sun because your eyes can start to get um, cataracts and macular degeneration if they get too much exposure to the sun <laughs> so it's good sunglasses with you when possible and I'll show you what mine look like in a minute but it's also important because the skin around your eyes is very thin and very sensitive And what the sun does is it can create not just burns, uh, but also it can cause, you know, wrinkles. And people don't like wrinkles mostly, I don't think. I sure don't. <laughs> and you can see I have some um, freckles on my face here, I think, and I think there's one here, and you can also see my shoulders. They have freckles all over. <sighs> see? And there's nothing wrong with freckles, but if you do start to see spots, new one. You need to keep an eye on them. Especially if they start to grow or if they become elevated. Anyway, so I'll show you my sunglasses, okay? Oh yeah, I like the inside of these cases. It's all plush. Anyway. Okay. These sunglasses are actually vintage. The important thing is just to make sure that they actually protect from the spectrum of sun. And of course, like I mentioned before, that they look really, really cool. So, I'll show you mine, okay? I'm hearing some strange noises from the hall. I think it's my kitty. What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty? Anyway, so, again, if you're a guy, these might not be your favorite sunglasses, although, maybe, I think they could look cool. Anyway, so, it's certainly not required for your sunglasses to have hearts on them. Or polka dots. <laughs> However, it's very, very good to have them, okay? Because I love your skin, but I also love your eyes. And I hope you love your eyes, and I hope you love your skin enough to really protect them. And you know, even if it doesn't seem very hot or sunny outside, you can still get sunburned, so please be careful always. And of 
course, the last thing is, get in there. I want to make sure they fit in so I can put them back in my purse. is that you should always wear sunscreen. Um, however, um, you all know what sunscreen looks like. So I wanted to show you a couple products that I use to really protect my skin. So, this is actually kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to show you my uh, my skin care collection or my uh, my basket full of face products so you'll see how much uh, face makeup and how many like moisturizers and things I have and it's kind of embarrassing so <laughs> don't make fun of me too much okay I have a whole basket so my basket full of skincare products. It's in my favorite color, which is mint, like a mint blue. Anyway, it's quite heavy because I have so many products in it. But let's see. A couple of the things you can do. Um, keep your skin healthy all year round is to use products that have SPF in them and so there are all kinds of uh, primers that you can put on your skin that will have SPF <laughs> and um, I like primers Let's see what else we have. Um, this is more of a, a lotion. Look how messy it is, too. It's so messy. But a lot of them just come with a nice little pump. Um, anyway, I don't like to put a lot of uh, makeup on my face. Um, just that's just my preference. Just, I like just a little. <laughs> so let's find. Oh, this is one of my go-to products. And trust me, I have more, um, I have more expensive and higher-end products than this one, but this is my favorite. Um, it's Pond's. Luminous finish, BB cream, and it's a BB plus, and that means that it has um, a broad spectrum SPF sunscreen. Okay, and so broad spectrum is what you want to look for. So it protects from UVA and UVB. And um, this one is one of the very few foundations. It's really not foundation. Um, if you don't know, BB cream is, it means beauty balm. And basically it works as a, um, like a base, a primer, um, a moisturizer, and uh, just has a little tiny bit of pigment so that it evens out your face without really covering anything. So for me, I like to at least have like my freckles uh, showing because otherwise I sort of feel it's just too heavy on my skin. And so 
this pond is BB cream. Uh, leaves the skin feeling really, really, really natural. You can see one of my cats is on the prowl. <laughs> um, and this is also uh, one of the only products I can find. Um, and I mean only, that includes high-end, low-end, drugstore, department store, Sephora. This is one of the only products that is light enough for my fair skin. So, a lot of products stay light, or fair, or porcelain uh, and they're still not light enough so this one really comes in um, a color that looks natural on my skin and it provides the moisture but it also means that every single day I have SPF on my cheeks, on my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, so that I have a little bit of protection even when it's not that sunny out. And it's a great idea. Now for me, I often have to go ahead and add sunscreen because SPF isn't really enough for me. But I think it's very, very good to have a base. Now, if you do like to have um, a more tan look, there are products uh, that can be helpful. Um, oh, I'll show you just because I have it. You can always hear the planes going over my place. They land on the lake and there are these tiny little planes, but they make a lot of noise, huh? Anyway, uh, this is my favorite uh, concealer type of product. I'll just show it to you since I, I was showing you my favorite uh, BB cream. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. YSL and you see Laurent has really, really wonderful makeup. It is a little pricey, so fair warning, it is a more of a luxury brand, but really not too bad. And this little guy <laughs> um is Gosh, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, touche eclat? Touche eclat? Something like that. Radiant touch. And it's just a little uh, pen. So we can pop off. Pop. <laughs> it's off. And you can see. <laughs> and again. I have to get the lightest, lightest, lightest concealer. This one's actually meant to be a highlighter. It's not even one of their concealers. That's how pale I am. But it works. You can just use a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of it. And then you just sort of brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it. Right on to your face. And I'm telling you, it's just a teeny. So, I don't think this one um, is necessarily a protector from the sun, but if you're looking for, uh, like, skin makeup that's really light and kind of luminous in the summer, I absolutely recommend it, especially because a little bit goes a long way with this one. So, anyway. 
And as you can see from my big, big, big basket, I have all kinds of um, products <laughs> to show you sometime. So, sorry, I think the hat messed up my hair. Who cares? Okay. Uh, so anyway, um, but the one thing I did want to show you is that if you do like to have a tanner look, and some some people look so amazing with the tan, I think I just kind of look funny, but some people look so great with it. So there's this new product called Tan Towel. And you know I like anything that's alliterated, so in Tan Towel, yeah, I'll put the rest of this stuff. I really like the Skin Perfector um, highlighter. And again, uh, my recommendation is the Pond's Luminous Finish. And it comes in lots of shades, so you might like to try it out. It's very reasonably priced as well. So, anyway, it actually has, oops, it actually has like a shiny, shiny cap, but Somehow I lost the, uh, somehow I lost the shiny, the shiny case. So, anyway, the last thing I'll show you is this tan towel. Um, and I'll, I'll read you what it says. So, this is the tan towel. I'll read to you what it says. Tan towel. Look good naked. <laughs> I think that's their slogan. It's a little racy. Racy. Okay, so it's a self tan towelette. Half body application for face and body. So and this is the classic one. And so, uh, if you want to be tan, but you still want to keep your skin looking young and keep it safe, which I hope you do, um, you can use, you know, fake tanners. And I know you can always go get spray tans, too. But this just came as um, a sample that I got a while ago. And I've kind of been thinking about just trying it out for fun. But I worry it'll make myself look like a Cheeto. So, anyway, it says, um, Each tan towel classic towelette is concentrated with a self-tan formula to give you a quick and even application with no streaking, mess, or fuss. Tan Towel Classic will produce a uniform, natural looking glow with two to four, oh, within two to four hours. For a deeper tan, apply another tan towel after four hours. To maintain your tan, reapply as needed or two to three times a week. For a darker result, Apply more frequently. Light citrus fragrance results may vary. So, so something like this might be an option if you still want to look tan, but you want to be safe. So, maybe I'll try it sometime, and I'll, I'll show you how it turns out. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah. This is just, I know, one of my just silly, very off-the-cuff videos, but uh, I just got to thinking today about the sun and about, uh, just about sun safety. So, please enjoy the sun um, and uh, stay cool. And I hope you can find, like, your own cool sunglasses. And your own cool hat. 
and most importantly, a really cool fan. Let me open it again. You have to be kind of careful. Because you can, you can pull it out and then look really cool, like, if you ever want to look like you're too cool for something, just, like, randomly produce a hand fan, like this, like, someone says something and you're like, oh, how absolutely droll. <laughs> oh, yes, ha, ha, ha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm being ridiculous again. Here, I'll fan you a little too, okay? Fanning you. Fanning you is so cool. Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you really soon, okay?